Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the min-maxing character creating um, small series I have going here. Just of short episodes that just kind of touch on different ways you can create a species. Um, this episode um, I am touching on um, something really something really cool, something um, really neat to the whole uh, campaign that was introduced in Utopia and, and that's called um, Unity. Um, and most of the Unity stuff actually isn't in the um, traits bit, so this is going to be a shorter episode because I'm not going to be going into traits. Um, I already created a species this time around as well. Um, it's a pre-made species that I uh, created and I'm just going to touch on things. Um, most of the Unity stuff is in the Government and Ethics category. I don't believe, I'm just going to switch this, just jump into trace, just to point out here. Um, agrarian, thrifty, intelligent, uh, none of this here goes into Unity. The only thing I, th I think that would kind of touch on it um, would maybe be um, communal. Even that doesn't do it. Um, so I don't think there's a single trait, at least for now, that um, is very beneficial for you as far as uh, Unity. Um, but, I mean, when you're crafting your own species, um, it's good to have certain things for the specific reasons as to um, how you go about getting such a big boon of unity. If you want to min-max, um, the best way to get some of the, the most unity is to either go with the uh, fanatic pacifist xenophobe route, um, and here's why. Um, a fanatic pacifist gives you a plus 40% to monthly unity. Um, and that's nice because you also get the, uh, the core sector system. You can also get four extra core sector systems. Um, and you also go with the um, xenophobe route. Um, and having xenophobe and pacifist together gives you inward perfection. Inward perfection gives you a plus 30% to your monthly unity. So with inward perfection, and fanatic pacifist, that's a bonus of plus 70% to your monthly unity. Now if you add on the agrarian ideal, um, that gives you the option of um, producing one unity on all of your farms. And you build a lot of farms. Um, farming is really important in the game because your people have to eat. Um, and unless you're going to design a species that eats other species, um, and makes you know other species the focus of your development, which I wouldn't suggest um, with this because it removes the point of even going this route. Um, you can only have agrarian ideal if your species is um, pacifist, either peaceful, either basic pacifist or fanatic pacifist. Um, you have to have um, pacifist in order to get this agrarian ideal, um, and you can do a lot with that. You can you can create a world. That's just all farms. That allows you to um, allows you to do a lot of good things as far as um, making plan other planets focus on minerals or energy. Um, but the, the one of the also good things about not being dominated by traits and not having a union on the traits is because you can then make um, a species focused on minerals. For instance, um, this species here, um, based on the last species, I gave them um, plus 15% of minerals. Um, here and plus 10% minerals there. So that's plus 25% of minerals. Um, so with that there, um, I could make my species um, say one planet can be solely focused on farming and you get like huge bonuses of unity just from that one farm planet. Um, but also on another planet, I can get huge bonuses from having um, a mineral planet with, this, uh, with these bonuses here. So, um, that's just one species that I just was one of kind of playing around with the different traits, playing with the different civics. Um, I believe there's another. Um, I feel like there was another civic that gave you a lot of unity. Um, but I realized that. Uh, let me see. Month of Unity comes from um, Beacon of Liberty. Beacon of Liberty is pretty cool. And I think there's another one too. Uh, where is that? I think there's one involving um, religion because uh, 
Oh, you can get a lot of unity from being a fanatic, pure, fanatic purifier. Every time you purge Xeno, every time you kill the alien, you get um, unity, but that's that's pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> that is pretty brutal, brutal, brutal. And there's also um, Hive Mind, but you can only get that, that um, if you're a Hive Mind, anyway. It's also pretty sweet. Maybe I'm not... Um, hmm. Okay, maybe that's it. Um, I was just thinking of the other one. Um, and that's that's where you can kind of split. If you wanted to, you could also go with this route. Boom. So you have this, this, but you can only have two at a time. Um, at least for right now. So later in the game, you do get the option of choosing another Civic. You usually get three Civics um, once you get the most advanced um, um, uh, government building. You can actually choose a third Civic. And that's where you could go, and you can go this route. But you know, you go from having um, like 20% here to having this here. It's not really worth it to sacrifice um, that 20%. Um, so I say, I say, stick with this. Don't even worry about the Beacon of Liberty. Um, but that is that is also an option if you wanted to go that route instead. Um, instead of, for instance, say, Agrarian Ideal, you could always go with um, the Beacon of Liberty. I should only say that if you didn't go with Agrarian Ideal, you'd be losing a lot of unity because you can get plus 70% off of all your farms. Um, one other thing, um, you could always go the route of going, say, uh, Pacifist, and spiritualists, because spiritualists, um, you can build temples, and temples create unity as well, um, which is very beneficial because then you can have um, unity from your farms, unity from building temple on each planet, um, plus um, an advanced temple that gives you like plus ten unity on each of the planets, um, and so there, 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 there are a couple of different great options, but I think the best option. Again, it's going with the uh, phonetic pacifist um, xenophobe, and that's that's the way to go there. Um, let me know what you think. If you have uh, different ideas as to how to accumulate unity, let me know. Um, but one other thing to say is that um, you can um, you can always you can always um, research. Um, I think there's a harmony tradition, and there's another tradition. Um, where you can um, get unity from your um, there's a lot of ums I can't remember it. Um, there's a uh, energy hubs. Energy hubs. Um, you can you go into a tradition and um, you can choose um, to get unity from energy hubs, and that's also where the agrarian ideal comes in handy. With the sorry, not the that, but the um, that's where this plus seventy percent comes in handy because you can get plus 70% from all of those unity hubs as well. So, Inward Perfection is excellent. Um, Fanatic pure Pacifist, excellent. If you want to just build up your empire, build up unity, go through all the traditions, go through all the Ascension perks um, very quickly um, without going to war a lot, that's the way to go. Um, that is definitely the way to go. Because uh, it's very beneficial. Once you've done that, once you've um, played that empire for like a hundred years, um, then you could change your ethics and you can change your civics, um, and you've you've reaped some great benefits in the process. Um, you can actually flip. You can actually go from being a pacifist to being militarist, and it's to, and you'd have to have to um, get rid of these civics, but you'd have spent 100 years or so of peace and um, if you can manage peace if you get the right allies for peace I mean, you can you can do a lot and you can anyway that's it for that um, hope you liked that episode and hope you um, you know if you, if you like my idea